I started off my day by going to Molly's house because her and Phoebe are taking care of Phoebe's dog Benji and he was so cute like absolutely the sweetest and chillest dog I've met in a while and we took him on a walk and it was super nice to just like go on a walk it was really cool in the morning and at one point he just sat so Molly actually had to carry him back to the apartment and then we went to Whole Foods together and we got a muffin to share on Molly's balcony and it was super nice. In the afternoon, I went on a ride with my dad and it was exhausting, but we went all the way to Fort Langley, which was super cool. I'd never been and we got a good view of Baker as well. Got home, ate pizza. I just finished eating pizza and I'm absolutely exhausted. That ride was so hard. Like it was mostly flat, I would say, but like we went almost like 130. So I think the distance was really getting to me. I checked my phone around 80 kilometers and we were still like a ways away from home. And I was like, oh my God, I felt so discouraged. But then once we got into Burnaby again, I kind of got into a second wind and was able to finish the ride feeling pretty good. In the evening I programmed. I just changed my light to film and this headband looks crazy in this lighting. Oh my gosh, so does my neon shirt. Doesn't this look cool? I got distracted. Kind of nervous for school tomorrow, but it should be fun. I was able to finish most of the coding that I wanted to get done, so that was good. I'm gonna hang out with G and Emma in the morning, have therapy, and meet up with Turner, Cog's orientation, jam-packed day. On Tuesday, I rode over to Delina to meet up with Gia and Emma. We just got some coffee and they got some food and it was really nice to just sit and talk about like school coming. And then I had my therapy session, which was really nice. Turner came over in the evening. I had a COGS orientation meeting that I had to go to and then we went for a walk, which was nice because it was a lovely day. And then we watched some Avatar to end the night. On Wednesday, I had my first classes. Just finished my first class. It was a little strange. It was a flipped classroom. I mean, like if I had read the announcement that he had sent out properly, I would have known this, but basically he had pre-recorded a lecture for today and then we were supposed to have watched it. And then we, we were coming to class and like doing exercises. So like me and both like the partner I got paired up with didn't realize this. And we were both like just sitting there like trying to look at the exercises. Like we don't know what's going on. At the end, we were able to figure it out. It's fine, but it was just like, it felt kind of pointless to be there just cause like I hadn't been prepared and that was my fault entirely not the best start to the first class but it is what it is i have an hour break and then i have german which i'm really excited for then i had german cogs lab and then ta cogs lab oh my god i have been zooming all day i haven't had more than like an hour break between each lecture or meeting it's been a lot like i was on my last meeting for two and a half hours we were figuring out a lab for cogs and i still have my computer science course it's just a lot but at least i have dinner at my grandparents later I attended my computer science class and then I went to my grandparents for dinner and it was nice. I just woke up naturally and it's 8.10 and I feel amazing. I haven't slept that good in a long time. So I just made my bread, had breakfast. I had such a chill morning. I feel so happy. And I'm about to TA my first COGS lecture. I'm super excited. Overall, it's been a really fun morning. And then, you know, I have some time to myself to just do some work today. And then after I meet up with Iza, Emma and Gia. So yeah, it just feels like a super good day. I just finished doing an online lecture for one of my flipped classrooms. I don't know what it is. Like there's less content, there's less time, but it feels like twice as exhausting to watch it and to learn and stuff like that. Right before COVID, I would have from 9.30 until five o'clock straight of lectures and classes and I didn't even blink. And then now I do like one thing, my brain just feels fried. Like thought that I would be better at handling it just because I was working from home and I found a really good stride with that, but it's hard to adjust. I met up with Gia and Emma at Tractor in Olympic Village and it was really tasty. I got a tofu bowl and we just sat and there was these really cute dogs there. And afterwards we decided to walk to Rain or Shine and it was a beautiful night. I got a passion fruit flavor. Unfortunately, Emma dropped her cone, but they were really nice and they gave her another scoop. <laughs> Beautiful Friday morning, 45 minutes till class starts. 
Doing good. I went to my computational linguistics lecture, had a meeting with my COGS TA team, and then German. I'm outside right now, and oh my god, the air right now is horrible. It, it smells like a campfire. I just got back from my eyelash appointment and oh my god, I love them. I've done some readings today. I just completed a tutorial for my COG students. I'm like showing them how to use GitHub. I give a whole like tutorial. I sky trained over to Rory's house in Port Moody and it was super fun. He let me use his mom's Iron Man mug and it was nice to see everybody. We got to go in the hot tub. Let's go back from hot tubbing. I cut my foot. I don't know how I did it, but it's okay. I love hanging out with the boys. But I miss Nicole, Georgia, and Miranda a lot. It's hard to carry the estrogen for the entire group. Last time I was in this bathroom, Nicole and Georgia were here with me. I miss you guys so much. After hot tubbing, we set up the spike bell net, and I played one game, but I wasn't that good, so I kind of just watched them play. Turner owes Rory a McDonald's meal? Yes, That's any of my choice. Of your choice? Yeah, McDonald's meal of my choice, thank you very much. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. It was a nice chance to hang out with everybody, and Rory's mom even joined us in playing some yes, games, and this is me getting a oh, shot. Oh, fuck! I got that on camera, too! Yeah. Then Turner drove me and Zach, and... We had some snacks before ending the night. On Saturday, it was super smoky and I came home and the air quality was just horrible. I had lunch at my grandparents and Molly napping and then I came home and I did some schoolwork. My first quiz. I was supposed to hang out with Gia and Grace today, but unfortunately we've decided to not do it. We wanted to hang out outside, but we can't do that because of all the smoke. It's a little upsetting, so I was excited to see them. The smoke is so gross and it's so upsetting to see the city like this. Even though I was kind of alone for most of the day, I still had a lot of fun. I got to FaceTime some of my family and I did some coursework, which was a little less fun, but it was still okay. And my mom made a, made a really nice dinner of like lentils and I had some squash. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I've kind of just been relaxing all of today. I did a bit of homework, lounged around, watched TikToks. Overall, it was a really good first week of school, a little bit hectic. I think I'll be able to get used to everything and hopefully this term won't be too stressful.